welcome back at 745. So it is ski season, and if you are looking to sharpen your skills or you simply just want to learn how to stay upright on your skis, there is a school in Doylestown that can teach you just that. Four Season Alpine is the first indoor ski and snowboarding school, training school that is, in Pennsylvania. And PHL 17's Alex Butler, she's training this morning. Hey, Alex. Literally training, okay? I've been on an actual ski set, you know, on the slope sort of and I tried I wasn't very good I had to be taken down by the medic so if you're like me and you're still trying to learn how to do this but all your friends are like hey come to Utah we're going skiing you want to be cute fashionable but you also want to be able to go down the slope this is the way to do it let me introduce you to Vladimir we are here of course at four Alpine season Alpine so walk us through kind of what this is so this is a simulator that's over here on this side that is correct yes so we have two machines in the studio uh, both of them work the same exact way um, you can interchange the platforms you can ski, you can snowboard on both of the machines. Uh, the machines were designed uh, for beginner, intermediate, and advanced gears. Um, Just to kind of give them an experience of what it's like. Now, exactly. Nikita was doing this earlier. How old is Nikita? Nikita's uh, eight years old. Eight years old. Yep. And you were killing it. How am I doing, Nikita? Am I, am I practice? A little bit more work. A little bit more work. A little bit more work. Very good. I know. That's why I'm practicing. I'm going to bring you around on this side just so you can see the whole setup here and how this works because basically you kind of have to lean into it and kind of believe that this machine's not going to drop you and believe in yourself as you move through this. How long does it take someone to get good? I would say on average it takes anywhere from five to ten sessions in the studio uh, depending on your skiing ability. Uh, usually uh, people that come in here after 30 minute, 5 30 minute sessions, uh, they get pretty good at it. Okay, and then I can go to Utah, or is that too much? Uh, Utah, I would say, is a little too much for <laughs> okay. you. I would, I would stick on the East Coast, East Coast for now. Okay, yeah. East Coast. So Utah for looking cute in an outfit and not going down the slopes. Uh, yeah. All right, there is more to see here. If you look back over here, this way, you will see snowboarding. So you guys also teach snowboarding. Walk me through that. Uh, we do, yes. Yeah. So snowboarding works the same exact way as skiing. Uh, so we have intermediate beginners and advanced snowboarders coming in here. Um, the snowboarding uh, platform kind of helps you carve the snow, uh, put your s snowboard on the edge, uh, gives you that confidence on staying down low with your knees. Uh, and there's a lot of people I know who try to learn this. They come from skiing, maybe skiing the first time, but have never done snowboarding. Yes. And you kind of walk them through both. Yes, we Beginner do. Beginner yep. level and advanced. Beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Yes, we have all, all levels are welcome. Okay, so if there's like a five-year-old, what's your youngest age again? Uh, for snowboarding, we take six and up. Uh, for skiing, it's three and up. Three and up. Okay, I just want you to know, my very good friend, our friend family, Ian, who is on the camera right now, give him a thumbs up, Ian. He actually tried the snowboarding, so we have video of that, of him actually learning how to do it. Now, you said the snowboarding is a little bit harder than the skiing, right? Yes, it's all about confidence on the machine, uh, but I would say snowboarding is a little harder to learn on the machine. Takes some time to really get into yes. it. All right, yep. if people want to sign up for class, I know there's some people that are like, oh my God, my friends want me to go to the Poconos. Yeah. I'm not ready. If they want to get in with you guys, how do they do that? So uh, the website is called fourseasonsalpine.com. You go into the book now tab, uh, select the time availability that's under there. The blue times that you would see are the times that are available. Uh, pick a time, register for a day that's available, and come on and in. And you're ready to go. Okay, real quick, I just want you guys to see this, Jimmy and Kelsey. If you come down here, you'll see. This was the last time I was on a mountain, and I thought I was going to die. January 27th, 2014. It was 10 wow. years ago, you guys <laughs> 10 years ago and well, I said it's good you're, never it's good you're practicing Alex you probably need to brush yes. up on your skills yeah, remember tighten your core tighten your core I, I hear that helps. I know tighten the core <laughs> it's tight I'll tell you that much all right thanks, thanks, thanks Alex, Alex.